Hey everyone, I'm Sydney from JobScan, and I'm excited to tell you about all of the new developments and new features we have in our JobScan tools that were just released in February 2024. Let's dive right in, and I'm going to save the best for last, so make sure you stick around because this last feature is really cool. Now, while we're here on the dashboard, you're going to notice some changes with uh, these modules for creating a new scan and for viewing your power edit history. Um, first of all, whenever you are looking at your um, scan history here or your the scan module, you're going to notice one difference. Used to, this showed your most recent scans, but now it shows your favorited scans. And you can have as many as you want here. If I had more than would fit on this page, I could just scroll down and there would be more. So this now shows your, your favorite scans. And it's really easy to um, favorite a scan or unfavorite a scan. For example, if I go in here to my content marketing manager scan, and then I paste in a job description and then click on power edit. And then right up here in the top right hand corner is where you can favorite or unfavorite a resume. So all I have to do is favorite this. I can call it whatever I want to. I can change the name if I want to change it. So we'll call it Content Marketing Manager 2. And then when I go back to my dashboard, you can see it's now there as Content Marketing Manager 2. Now, when you've got your resumes here, if you're not quite sure which one you want to select, just click on this little magnifying glass and that will pull up a preview of that resume and then you can close it if that wasn't the right one. Or if you're like, I don't know why I favorited this resume, I don't actually wanna use it, you can just click on the star and it will remove that from your favorites. So now you're, uh, you have it down to the list of the ones that are actually your favorite. So that's a new feature, just kind of an easier way to get to your most important resumes and start the scanning process. Another change is down here in our power edit history. This list has been updated so that you now see the most recently edited session rather than the most recent created sessions. So now we've made it easier to get to your most recent edits, your most recent resumes by changing the, the order of this. Okay, so let's jump into Power Edit to see some of the new features that we have there. The first one, you're gonna notice if I click on hard skills, and then look at this skill, new technologies. Okay, let me scroll down to my resume and notice this sentence that I have here, have here, used new technology to increase ROI. This is a similar statement to new technologies, but it's not an exact match. However, after testing some ATSs, we found that they were able to detect similar phrases. So now, Power Edit is able to do that too. I use new technology, which is similar to new technologies. And because it can recognize that as a similar statement, it counts that as a green check mark, you've included that skill on your resume. Now, keep in mind that not all ATSs can understand um, similar phrases. Some of them require an exact match whenever using the search function. So make sure that you're in, go into the searchability report and then update the job information and add that listing URL of where you got the job listing on the company's website because our system will be able to automatically detect which ATS they use and then it'll give you tips specific to that ATS. So it'll tell you if that ATS can understand similar or like stemmed skills, what they call it, or if you require an exact match. Now, speaking of skills, if we go over to the job description tab up here at the top of the page, you're gonna notice a new feature here. Previously, um, we would highlight the skills in green that you had included on your resume. Now we've also highlighted in red the skills that you have not included in your resume. Really the easiest place to get this is in the report where we have the list of hard skills and soft skills. But just in case you're looking at the job description first, you can easily see those skills on the job description. This also helps you to see that skill in context so that you're able to read more 
more about what exactly they're looking for in relation to that skill so that whenever you list that skill, you can give it that context. You can explain how you used it um, and describe your experience in a way that is relevant to that job and what the hiring manager is looking for. Now let's go back to the report and let's take a look at some more um, features that we've added for skills. Now, one feature um, that we've had for, for a little while is the ability to generate phrases for these skills. So if I were to click on uh, Google Analytics, I can click on that skill and it will generate phrases that I can use word for word if it accurately describes my experience with that skill, or I can use it as inspiration of how to describe my experience with that skill. But before you could only um, generate phrases for skills that you didn't have on your resume. Once you got to the recommended count, it wouldn't generate any more phrases. But we changed that so that you can generate more phrases. Even if you've already included the skill, even if you've included it the recommended number of times, you can continue generating phrases for as long as you want to, um, to add it to your resume as many times as you want. Now, I told you I was saving the best for last and I didn't lie. The last feature that I want to show y'all that's brand new is our rephrase feature. So if you click on a line of text or a paragraph of text, you're going to see this rephrase button that will use AI to rephrase the sentence. Now, what does that mean? Why would you want to rephrase that sentence? Well, what this tool does is a few things. So one, it will modify the sentence so that it uses action words. We always recommend using action words or action oriented statements to show how you used a skill or something that you did, an action that you did. That's what recruiters want to see, not just that you have the skill, but how you show the skill. So it's going to rephrase that sentence to use action words in it based on the feedback and the research that we've gotten from recruiters. It will also convert non-corporate language to professional corporate language. So if you're not entirely comfortable with your writing or the way that you phrase things, you can use rephrase and it will make it sound a little more professional. So it'll in improve the quality of, the, of your resume. Next, you can use this um, rephrase feature to make the sentences a little more concise. So if you watched our last um, product update, you know that in recruiter tips, we have a note here, a call out about paragraph length. So if you have a paragraph that's too many words or, or a sentence that's too long, we'll tell you about it. But maybe you don't know how to rephrase it to make it shorter and still sound good. Rephrase will do that for you. It'll get the word count down to something that we recommend, again, based on expert feedback. So it's a really easy way to improve the quality of your resume, make it sound more professional, make it follow guidelines from recruiters, and still include the skills that you have. So those are all of the updates for February 2024. Shout out to our engineering team. They're absolutely amazing. They're already working on new updates for the month of March. So uh, if you're not subscribed to this channel, subscribe so that you don't miss those updates. If you saw these features in Power Edit and that looks like something you want to use, which trust me, it is. You can sign up for JobScan um, today. You can sign up for a free trial for two weeks. So you'll be able to use PowerEdit and all of these new features in your job search.